Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and talking about Boruto. Something we don't do that often because I typically watch a ton of Boruto at once and then fall behind and then catch back up. But recently I had a massive idea for a way Kurama could possibly return and I want to tell you guys all about it. First of all, I'd like to open this and say I know Naruto isn't going to return to its former power level during Boruto, at least until the very end, which I'll get into later. I know this show is about Boruto, I get that, but I think I figured out a way that they could have their cake and eat it too. First of all, it's important to remember that Kurama's chakra is everywhere. The villain Sakura fought in her light novel had chakra pills that contained his chakra, and there's also the two Edo Tensei brothers sealed into Ten Ten Stages This Path ninja tools that she literally just keeps in her ninja tool shop. So imagine if due to the low volume of Ninetail chakra in the two brothers, they were to remove the chakra and place it back inside of Naruto. But however, due to how small the volume of chakra was, what if it forms like a baby Kurama, like what we saw after the stage of this path separated the ten tails into the nine tails beast? You could bring the Kurama character back and have him have all of his memories, but he's like a baby Kurama that literally can't fight. Maybe the most power ups he can give Naruto are the equivalent of a very minor amps he would give him in part one when his eyes would glow a little red. And you could have Kurama give a very vague anime hype answer when asked when he will recover his power, he could say sometime in the near future, alluding to maybe a year or two in the future, or however long Boruto will play out for. And then Naruto can be still nerfed throughout all of the series, and at the very end, when it's all over, and I'm assuming Boruto loses his karma, and Momoshiki is defeated permanently, then Naruto can get Kurama back and reassert himself as the strongest character in the theory. You could literally do this so you could have your cake and eat it too. At the end of the theory, Naruto is back to being the number one strongest guy around, and then you can also tell your Boruto story without Naruto there to interrupt it. Because while nerfing Naruto is best for Boruto's story, I don't believe it's probably the best thing for the franchise overall. This is still the Naruto franchise, and I do believe when Boruto is over, they're going to want to somehow reset the status quo so they can still bring back Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura as the lead characters at the height of their power in any additional content they make post Boruto. Because let's be honest, when Boruto ends, that doesn't mean we're not gonna get Naruto movies anymore, or Naruto one shots or mini series. That doesn't mean it's gonna be the end of Naruto, and I think Naruto will keep going, probably starring Naruto. I don't really think Boruto is going to become the new face of the franchise. He is right now, but it's still called the Naruto franchise. Naruto isn't the main character of this series. This is Boruto's show, but I think at the end of it, they'll want to open the gateway so they always have the possibility to return to the Naruto and Sasuke cast bag. And the best way to do that would be to introduce a mechanic where you can literally have Naruto be regaining power for the entirety of the show. Kurama was so massive, you could even show the progress by him getting slightly older as the show goes on, and by the end of it, he could be his full massive Kurama form again. And speaking of Sasuke, as I said earlier, you could really do the same thing with Sasuke, because Naruto and Sasuke have the chakra of Ashura and Indra. They're still the reincarnation. That has nothing to do with having Rinnegan or having the Ninetales. That is something that Madara and Hashirama also had prior to either of them having Rinnegan and Hashirama never had the Ninetale. And yet Madara, when combining his chakra with Sasuke's chakra, was able to form a Rinnegan. It took like 20 to 30 years for it to activate, but he still accomplished the feat. Which is why I'd like to propose that Naruto could literally just share his chakra with Sasuke. I don't think it would be very hard for Sasuke to get his hand on an additional Sharingan, one with all the Shin clones running around, but I also don't think the eye is probably beyond repair, especially when he's married to Sakura, of all people. But all Sasuke would need is another Sharingan in there, a new functioning eye socket, Naruto to give him Chakra, and then he could eventually awaken another Rinnegan. Now, I said it took 20 years last time, 
But you could easily suggest that because Sasuke already had a Rinnegan given to him by the Sage of the Sith Path, he may be able to awaken it much more quickly. Not instantaneously, but Sasuke still had the Chakra of Sith Path inside of him. That Chakra is still in Naruto and Sasuke's bodies, they just lost a majority of the things that made them able to properly utilize it. But Sasuke should still have the chakra that caused the Rinnegan to activate. So maybe Naruto's chakra merging with Sasuke would create another Rinnegan, and maybe Sasuke could activate it relatively around the same time Kurama's power came back. I think this puts us in a very convenient situation, where Naruto and Sasuke could in theory get their full power back, but you kind of put it in a narrative state where you're just waiting for the writer to want to do it. Put it in a state where it can happen at any time, because there's no precedent for this in the theory. There's no example of how long this should take. So I think it would be really simple to kind of just have it play out, and then at the very end of the show, Naruto and Sake could return and fight one of the Ozazukis, while Boruto and Kawaki handle the main guy. You could have maybe Naruto and Sasuke fight like the second strongest guy, and then, Boruto and Kawaki can beat the big bad by themselves, or Boruto can do it, whatever. But once the main villains are all defeated, you could have it be that maybe Boruto loses his karma powers, loses Momoshiki, Kawaki loses his, and they're kind of reverted to being regular people. Therefore, Naruto and Sasuke are now the strongest ninjas in the world again. Boruto and Kawaki are still incredibly, incredibly powerful, probably some of the strongest non sith back character in the verse, if not the strongest non sith back character in the verse, probably stronger than Sakura at this point. So they're strong enough that you can still tell epic Boruto Kawaki story whenever you want. But now Boruto is over, and Naruto and Saki are conveniently returned to their old power level, or maybe even more powerful. You could have them maybe train during the series, and then you could stack those powers on top of their new baseline which could make them slightly even more powerful, and then you can just have them keep training and keep getting stronger, and continue to use them the way you were in the beginning of Boruto, into the future of the franchise. You could easily do that, and still have the entire Boruto series using a nerfed Naruto and Sasuke, so they don't take spotlight. It allows you to write them out of the series, but also return them to the head front of it, at the time that Boruto's story is no longer being told. Personally, I think this is the best way they could do it, have their cake and eat it too. Also, I don't think it needs to be said that making baby Kurama a recurring character would be great for the merchandise. I can totally imagine the anime having a field day with Naruto and Himawari maybe hanging out in Naruto's mind together with like a baby Kurama. Maybe you could even have it be so Naruto lets him out because he's so small right now. Obviously he'll one day be too big and have to go back inside of Naruto. But if he's really small when he first comes back, you could have him like walk around on Naruto's shoulder when they're not fighting. And like he could like hang out with Himawari and just be a super cute ball of money for them to sell merchandise of. Imagine the baby Kurama plushies and like the Naruto figure you could make with Naruto with Kurama on his shoulder and like a baby Kurama and he could have big, big eyes. There's a lot you could do with it and it also wouldn't affect the story at all beyond being the cute little mascot character that you could one day return to his former glory. I think this is the best way to do it personally, but why don't you guys let me know in the comment section down below of what you think of Kurama returning, but Kurama being nerfed and needing to regain his old power before Naruto can get him back and return to his old former glory. In fact, you could even do something really funny where Naruto can use his old transformations because it's still Ninetale Chakra interacting with his body, so it had the same result, but they're just much, much weaker. But Naruto can still use them. I think that would be really funny. But yeah, what did you think of all these ideas? Tell me in the comments. Also, what do you think of the idea of Sasuke doing the same thing with Higrinagon? He gets the Rinnegan back, but he has to wait an unknown period of time until it's convenient for the writer for it to awaken so he can use it in combat again. Tell me your thoughts on all these things in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, leave it a like. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And above all else, guys, have a fantastic day. If you want to support the channel, my PayPal is linked in the description box down below as well. As is my Twitter, if you want to follow me on there. 
And most importantly, this is Nerd King 101 heading out.